Rolling. The most crowded room. Okay. Um, welcome to the manifestation. Okay. This room basically is the mature version of our group soul concept. So we've gone from group soul to the emergence of the immature ego structure to dominate and control. Learn the rules of the game through that domination, through that very breaking down and controlling of our environment and researching it and finding the very material laws of the universe. We've then taken those rules and, and perfected them to be able to tap in with ourselves on a different level and use that technology for the good of ourselves and all. And an adolescent dragon emerged that interconnected everyone and guided us to cooperation. Once you become a genius at one level, you can become a genius at all levels. Like, if you learn how to play guitar as well as Jimi Hendrix, you can probably learn to rear a kid or bake a cake or um, do pretty much anything. It's all a process. And once you learn it, the process, how the process works or the work involved in becoming a genius in an area, you can do that same work in all areas. Also take into account the ex rapid expansion of technology to the point where we're gonna tap into things like mass intelligence, mass information, not only because maybe metaphysically we're going back up the arc and starting to get more spiritually connected to one another, more honest in our communications, more, uh, uh, we'll also have the technological ability that maybe we can upload the internet instantaneously into our brains at all times. So basically all information at this level is starting to bifurcate and get to where you never think of one idea as just a specific concept. It's an integrally viewed, multiple perspective angles of all facts and information about that thought and or idea. So the dragon has matured from an adolescent to an adult. This painting, on, on a what should be somewhat obvious level, resolves a sort of Eve tree of knowledge, apple, snake, uh, you know, that, that from whence we've come is the, that guilt I was talking about, that like original sin, ooh, I, what a ridiculously horrible concept that you just screwed from the start. Well, I wanted to paint a painting that represents the divine feminine, feminine that nurturing, that resolves that issue, that is, we are not guilty, our destiny is to go through those things in order to be able to emerge in this area. So. These are concepts where she is growing up and out of a tree that has encrypted in all its branches all of knowledge, scientifically, spiritually, emotionally, introspectively, psychologically, um, technologically, earth-based, you know, and she is starting to become the more mature version of that group soul in that she now realizes through being cooperative and honest that we are all the same. She knows that on a level of, of science, that, that we are all one vibration. She feels that. She knows that. She knows that technologically because we are all now uploading toward one another. Consciousness is just starting to get back to that group soul level on the more mature version, further down our spiral, spiral further up our arc, which allows for more freedom, more connection to the earth, a sense of more spirit, uh, an, an honest relation to another person is one of the most spiritual things that you can have. A uh, connection to the earth to be able to restore it and become shepherds of our planet rather than dominators and destroyers. So this is basically a point where her main objective in this is being guided by the dragon all the way up to its adult maturation to evolve the ultimate goal through manifestation which would be and this is an embryo uh, in the apple that she has bitten from or plucked from. Um, in, in the past, she is now growing a new one that is a dragon-human merger. No longer are we chasing that enlightenment or being guided up toward it. We are becoming that enlightenment. So um, she's just basically uh, accepted her responsibility, um, started to utilize that which she has learned through genius, and has become uh, pure, not pure mind, but our trickle that was in number four has expanded through genius to the level of, you know, like the Jimi Hendrix, the artist. Well, this is now opening up to the point where it is a full hose of that stream of consciousness, of, of pure consciousness, of the mind of God, of 
wherever subatomic particles blip to when they blip out of existence, that which was before us. It is now, our, our, our brains are, are channeling that so freely that it's the realm of manifestation because I can just, my will and the will of the universe have now merged so completely that I don't want for my ego structure anymore. I want for what is the good of all. The universe is now blowing so fully in our sails that we are just going and expanding at such a rapid rate that if you have a cancer, if, if cancer will even exist anymore at this point, but say it does, say any sort of sickness does, well, I can, if I've metaphysically or, or connected with my own body as a healer enough, I can walk up to you and touch you and heal that spontaneously if I'm on that level of a genius. But at the same time, I'm interconnected with all of technology. So I might be a scientist that is aware of this and has used it to develop a certain uh, type of nanotechnology that I can just touch you and have those nanobots go in and eat the cancer out from the inside. Well, either way, I'm still on the level of a miracle worker, of the Jesuses, of the Buddhas, of the avatars of our old, of, of our old legends. Like the, the I am the way, the truth, and the light is not a, a ego specific thing. That's, that's the problem with number three and, and, and that time period. If, if Jesus, however you believe about it, if he existed, he was a, a, a revolutionary in that concept of saying that we all have this divinity in it. And he was saying, go back to the truth and the light, which are great concepts that guide us on this evolutionary path to the point where you can become a God on earth uh, in the way that we think about prophets being. We, our will will just be so in line with what the universe is already manifesting everywhere that as soon as we spontaneously think something, we're so pure of, of need want that we can manifest it instant, in, instantaneously, whether through our own just sheer will, through metaphysics, through our mind, or through technology. The question is, <laughs> where do you go from there? It's a very interesting question because once the hose is full throttle, the most universal mind energy uh, creative expansion is flowing through you and we've restored Earth back to a, a beautiful Eden where as soon as we imagine something we can achieve it, what could possibly be next? Well, the only thing to do if we have an ocean that's being channeled through the hose, the hose can only expand so much before you need to get rid of the hose and return to the ocean. The only way to become one with the ocean is to lose the hose. So the only way to go back fully to consciousness, we've shepherded it from that first dawn of consciousness all, through all these organ higher levels of organization to having to learn responsibility, develop genius, become group soul, and now we have to go back from whence that consciousness came and shed three dimensions in corporeal reality and go back to just group mind or heaven or whatever angle you approach that concept. And that takes us to the transcendence, our final room. And that's where things start to get really weird and cool. So let's check it out.